babes welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel so today I am doing a how to start a blog slash how to make money while vlogging sort of a video um, if this is some kind of a series that y'all like to see like how to start a blog um, how to photograph in a blog how to start a YouTube channel just different things like that just let me know and if y'all end up starting a blog or if y'all are very new to it link it down below I would love 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 to read y'all's blog post and try and connect with y'all more and yeah if y'all like this video give it a thumbs up and just subscribe to my channel since you're already here and let's get into the video step number one on how to start a blog is definitely figuring out what your why is so many people say that they want to start YouTube or a blog because they want to make money or because they want free things and stuff like that which if you don't have a passion for it you won't continue more than a month to four months you won't go past that if you do not have a passion for it I started my blog six months ago which is just crazy because it feels like I started it like last month for me I had strangers family friends all those kinds of people telling me that I should start a blog um, they said that they would like my outfits and they're like where'd you get it where'd you get it like how'd you put those two pieces together I have always had questions about that kind of stuff and you know it was the end of my senior year and I was like, you know, screw it. I've had people tell me for years to start a blog and I'm doing it. And I got such, such a positive response from it. Um, hate comes along with it. Hate comes along with everything. I mean, it doesn't matter what you're doing, honestly. Everyone's gonna hate on that. So honestly, take that little monster that is hate and throw it away. Just throw it away and forget it exists because if you're doing something you love, hate doesn't exist. So start questioning yourself and figuring out why you want to do a blog and if it's because you have a passion for styling, because you love fashion, because you just have so much fun writing and you want to write when you get older, or if it's cooking and you want to show how you bake cakes, how you make macaroons, how you make healthy food, anything like that. If you are a fitness blogger, you can show how you do workouts. What are the best active wear? Why, why should someone buy this over this? And all that kind of stuff. So just figure out your why and go from there. Step number two, figure out which platform you want to use. When I first started, I used Blogspot and it's really good, it's free. So that's really nice. I used that for the first month. Yeah, for the first month of my blogging, I used that because I was like, uh, I, I don't know if I'm gonna even, you know, stick with it. I didn't tell anyone when I first started blogging for like the first month because I was like, I'm just kind of testing the waters to see how it works, how I like it, and all that kind of stuff. Um, then after about a month, I switched my domain, which is um, your URL and how you get to your site. I switched it from Blogspot to WordPress. WordPress um, does cost money. I'm not sure how much I spent, but it's like for a year, um, you just renew it after a year. And then my domain, I think was $13, which is my website name. And um, my website name is herringboneeverythinghaley.com. And to get it .com without the WordPress on the end, it's going to cost about $13. So I would definitely try Blogspot first. See if it's actually something that you really do want to do. And if you do, then spend the money and commit to it for a year and get yourself a domain and get yourself a nice website going. Step number three is figuring out the name of your site. So like I said, mine is Herringbone Everything Haley. And whenever I was first doing this, I didn't want something that was going to restrict me to one category. Like if it was makeup and chill, I don't know if that was the name of my blog, then it would obviously be all about makeup. and. I didn't want to be categorized under one thing because I like hair, I like beauty, I like fashion, and I like lifestyle. So honestly, all those things are just wrapped up in mine. Herringbone is a pattern in the fashion world, and I honestly don't have like a ton of herringbone, but growing up, my, uh, my nan and my mom, I felt like I was always hearing the word herringbone or houndstooth. I was hearing those two a lot and I don't know if it was because it was popular back then but I did hear a lot so that's kind of what you know made me think maybe I should bring something from my childhood and it's still fashion related but it's not 
so fashion related that I can't do something in the lifestyle category, something in the cooking category or anything like that. And then everything Haley is just everything about my life. So then that opens up to a very broad spectrum of what I can do. There are tons of name generators on the web that you can go to and kind of figure out like what you want to do exactly and uh, type in some of your keywords in your name and it'll put together something for you. So once you figure out what kind of a category you want to do or if you want to do something that's specific to a few things, then that's whenever you can kind of figure out which name will go best with your blog. Step number four is equipment. So if you go and check out my blog, which I do highly recommend that y'all check out my blog for any kind of tips on how I shoot, how I edit, you can really see any ideas on blog posts through my blog as well. I shoot all my blog pictures on an iPhone. I actually do it on an iPhone 7 Plus and the iPhone 7 Plus is such good quality. Honestly, I've been blogging for six months. Usually people don't get very big from blogging until a year to two years. So once I start making a little bit more money in it, I will start to invest in a better camera and better equipment. I have a DSLR. For blogging pictures, whenever I'm having a sponsored post of some sort, I will grab my professional camera because usually whenever I take blog pictures, I am out and about and I'm like, oh hey, this is a good background, let's just take a picture. And I don't really have this with me. This camera isn't my favorite camera, so I don't recommend buying this one. I recommend saving up and getting a better camera. That's what I'm planning on doing. I want to sell this camera, save up some more money, and get a camera that records and takes pictures. This one just takes pictures, which kind of sucks. This is actually the last Nikon. Um, it's Nikon D3000. And this is the last one of this uh, generation, I think, that only takes pictures. So I really wish it took video, and so that's why I'm gonna save up so that I can get a, a better camera that has a better lens and a better system, so I can use this to take blog pictures and record YouTube videos on this. But I do use this, this is really good. We actually use this on my family Christmas card pictures every year. Tip number five, and such a huge one, take time before launching your site. I would go and get about 10 outfit pieces if you're doing fashion, 10 beauty looks, 10 hair looks, 10 fitness looks, anything like that. Just 10 looks, get those done, get those edited, and get and start writing your blog post. So that whenever you go in, you don't just have one blog post, so then you're like, oh crap, I have a day and I need to put another one up. Because I have fallen into that, and before I started, I did not do that, which I wish I would have. Um, whenever I'm going on vacations, I will typically pre-shoot, and whenever I go on vacations now with YouTube, I'll pre-record so that when I'm out, about I can just upload one in there but I wish I would have done that before so that you have a lot of content ready to go and ready to post when your days come and leading up to as you're starting to decrease in your content I would start taking more and take them in like chunks be like okay on Saturday I'm gonna go out I'm gonna take three outfits and go to this 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 in this area and take pictures step number six is to publicize it this is another huge one because you can't just have a blog and then expect to expect it to go anywhere if no one's looking at it. Um, I actually just linked it in my bio when I first started and kind of let people figure it out, which a lot of people actually ended up figuring out. A lot of my friends did because they were like, hey, I was on your Instagram and I saw that you have a blog and I'm like, yeah, I started it and I'm really proud of it. And they're like, oh, that's really cool. So that's a good way to start. If you're kind of shy and you don't really feel like being like, hey, I started a blog, here it is, like take it, look at it, like everything, and share it on your Facebook. Like if you don't feel like doing that, then just kind of slowly put it out there. Of course, after time, you will want to start putting it on your Snapchat stories, your Insta stories, posting about it on Instagram, Facebook, all that kind of stuff. Just get it going and get people noticing what you're doing and be proud of it because confidence is key and if you don't have confidence then people will be like oh well whatever if you are like yeah it's my blog and I'm really proud of it then they're gonna be proud of it too and they'll be so interested to see it. okay now on to how to make money while doing it I have been doing this for six months and I haven't made like thousands and thousands of dollars while doing it but some ways on how to make money while starting out is sponsored posts so this kind of ties in with another topic I was gonna touch on reaching out to brands 
I've had brands reach out to me and be like, hey, I would love to collaborate with you. Hey, I'll pay you for a sponsored post, stuff like that. But most brands won't as you're starting out. I actually saw, um, I'm not going to say who, but it was one of my bloggers that I do look up to. And she was like, yeah, I do not reach out to brands. That's so embarrassing. Like, don't do that. So I was like, oh, okay, I can't reach out to brands. Then I saw another blogger that I look up to that has about 30,000 followers on Instagram. So she's not as big as the previous blogger, but she was saying to reach out to brands that most brands won't just approach you. Brands that are, you know, starting out like we are. Brands that are trying to get their foot in the door. They, you know, sometimes are shy to reach out to bloggers. They don't know what to say to bloggers. So if you kind of take it upon yourself and come up with a little memo of what you're going to say to the brands. So stuff like... I'll do a post through my blog, Insta Story, and Instagram, and for that I will do it for this price, but it is negotiable. I would always say that it's negotiable because most brands that are starting out are going to be like, oh, like I don't know how to like work around it, all that kind of stuff. Like They just won't really understand. They won't really understand a lot of it. If a brand says, no, I am still so new and I will not be able to pay you for a sponsored post. I would still offer to not do a paid sponsor post and say that you know you would still love to work with them even if it's not paid you would still love to maybe do an Instagram story takeover on their channel which will help gain your followers on your blog and Instagram I've done several of those and have loved it the brands I've worked with are amazing and very professional so I would definitely try and negotiate something, whether it's negotiating money, negotiating what platforms you're using, and figure it out through that way. Signing up for affiliate programs are going to be another really easy way on how to gain traffic to your blog and to your Insta and any other socials. This way, you will go to the web and you can look up affiliate programs for boutiques or affiliate programs fashion, anything like that and you will see different affiliate programs. You can click on them, read about them, see if it has any kind of correlation for you. Go to that, sign up for it. Most of them you have to be accepted, but still apply. You never know who's new, who's you know just really looking for a new face, and just go through with that. And honestly, you can make some really good friends and some really good networking through that way. And the last way to make money while being a beginner blogger is affiliate links. Finding affiliate programs and once you get accepted, you want to find affiliate links. A very huge one that I would definitely recommend everyone signing up for is Misguided. Misguided.com, I am in love with their clothes and I'm an affiliate through them and they're always doing a sale about 50% off their site. And if people click through your link and they go onto Misguided, buy something, then whatever they bought through your link, then you will get profits from it. Now, of course, when you do a sponsored post or affiliate links, you do have to state somewhere on the post or somewhere in your blog that some of these posts and some of these links, you will, be, you will make money from it. It is illegal if you leave that out from the public. You must tell people that. That is also same here on YouTube. You must include that it is a sponsored post or that is a link that you will end up making money through. All of these ways are such good ways for beginners to start making money. Now, once you get a little bit bigger and you get to six months, to a year, to two years, and so forth, you'll start getting asked to speak, you'll start getting asked to come to events and fun things like that. So it will definitely pay off in the end. Just try it, give it a shot, and I really, really hope y'all enjoy it. I hope this was extremely helpful for all of y'all. Thank you so much for y'all's support, and thank you so much for being here. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.